In your medicine and dentistry interviews, no matter what kind of question you get, you will often touch on the subjects of the multidisciplinary team or the MDT for short. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what you need to know about the MDT, the key roles and the differences between each of those roles and why you might want to choose medicine if you are interviewing for medicine, why you want to be a doctor rather than these other roles and the differences where they lie to help you understand which one separates which. So the MDT is defined as a group of doctors, nurses, and other allied healthcare professionals all working together to provide optimal patient care. As a doctor, you will be a key part of that MDT, so it's really important that you understand it and the roles within it. So here are five things that you need to have prepared for your interview when answering questions about the MDT. So firstly, let's talk about the allied healthcare professions. So what are allied healthcare professionals? Well, firstly, if I give you a list of some of the common ones you'll see in hospital, that might jog your memory and give you an idea as to what they are. They are basically degree-based professions that can lead to multiple work opportunities, clinical research and education wise. These can develop into advanced roles or consulting roles and they can go on to earn their prescriber's rights, carry out procedures, even medical interventions and even do therapies. So when you get asked a question about this at interview, it will typically be along the lines of just naming a few from that list and then explaining one or two about what their job role is and what they do within the hospital. So a good way to understand maybe a few of these is to check out this video here and there's a playlist from the NHS telling you about all of these allied healthcare professions and explaining in a five, three to five minute video of exactly what they do. The other really important area that of course you'll be asked about is our favorite partners in the hospital, the nurses. Now, a common question of course is why medicine and not nursing? Now, to answer those, it's really important that you understand what a nurse does exactly and the key differences between them and doctors to help you answer intelligently why you want to go for medicine rather than nursing. The commonest mistake that people make when answering this question is they state things that are available to nurses. So it's really important that you pay attention to the following few minutes to understand exactly what a nurse can do so when you say why you want to be a doctor, you don't put yourself in it by saying, well, saying something that they can retort by saying, actually nurses do those things, so you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot here. So the roles and responsibilities of nurses are always expanding and they are even more important than they ever have been in today's NHS. Here are the four areas that you can go into generally as a nurse, but it's important to know again that they have a three year degree to obtain your nursing qualification. So nurses can further develop their skills and progress from these roles to become nurse specialists, advanced practitioners, and more often than not, hospital managers do originate from a nursing background. So that means that their pay can be anything from about 21, 22,000 pounds all the way up to the top band, which is 82 and a half thousand pounds. So to take the first one of those, advanced nurse practitioners, these are people that can be found in A&E departments, urgent care centers, GP practices. They are fully autonomous within the range of conditions that they can see, and they are fully able to see, diagnose, and treat patients within that range of conditions. And then we have nurse specialists, which are nurses that dedicate themselves to a specific medical condition. So for example, you might have a diabetic specialist nurse. And what they do is they usually have prescribing rights, so they will run their own clinics, and again, they will see, diagnose, and treat patients with that specific Specific condition. The final thing to be aware of in the MDT is an ever-growing role and fairly new is that a physician associate. Now the physician associates role is there to support and aid in the management of patients under the supervision of a doctor. So here are the typical day-to-day -day activities and duties of a physician associate. Notice that there is a lot of overlap with those of a doctor. So again, similar to nursing, really be sure what the differences are between a physician associate and a doctor so that you don't fall in that trap of when asked why this and not this, that you say something that's gonna put your foot in it by then being able to say, well, that is exactly what a physician associate does. So again, similar to advanced nurse practitioners, PAs will work in A&E settings, acute medicine, so also urgent care, and then also it will be in GP practices where they can be found most. Now this entire series is giving you the material that you need to make sure that you get a really top level answer to convert that opportunity into an interview. If you want to check out the full series where we do all of the key subjects that you need to know about, I would recommend that you check out this playlist here. Otherwise, for the best resources that are really gonna separate you, 
Like I say, interviews are so competitive these days. Check out this here where I've got a really neatly packaged resource that is gonna help you smash that interview and convert that opportunity into a place. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.